Here's your consumer robot. Batteries not included. Thinking attended CES 2015, the Consumer Electronics Trade Show that's all about incorporating the tech of tomorrow into the products of today. What did we discover while we were there? Come along and find out. You know, one of the biggest stories at CES is all about robotics. I'm here at ABB's booth, and the robot behind me is the same sort of robot that welds car doors onto cars. I mean, it has incredible precision, but now it's kind of moved up in the world. It's all in show business. You see, it has software that maps the images on the screen to the robotics arm motions so that you can create an incredible eye-catching display. You know, the real story about robotics in the consumer world is that we often focus on the cutting edge, the leading information on artificial intelligence and robotic movement. But here we're seeing the building blocks for what robots are really going to be like in our everyday lives. We've seen a lot more robots that are meant for interpersonal communication, interacting directly with humans here at CES. For example, Future Robot has this one that can track your eye motion and react to your facial expressions. I think she digs me. And this little guy from Oppobotics captured our hearts by fetching us a soft drink. But beyond that, we've seen a lot of robots specifically dedicated to education. Our friends from Modular Robotics were back and once again, they showed off their amazing robotics. These little modules represent everything from battery power to sensors to actuators. And when you put them all together, you can make a robot do pretty much anything your imagination lets you do. Over at Ozobots, these super cute little guys actually teach a valuable lesson in logical sequencing. They follow different colors of lines, but then you can create the rules they follow. So when they encounter a different color, they change their behavior. It teaches kids logical sequencing. It gives them a love of programming early on so that they pursue that later in life. I, I love this idea. Then over at Actobotics, if you want to build a robot, they've got all the parts you need. Everything from gyroscopic robots that can stand up right on two wheels to well, pretty much your imagination's the only limit there. Now, I think the most important robot I encountered was from Five Elements Robotics because it let me carry my coat around without me having to hold it. He would just follow me around the show floor, which is pretty awesome. We're seeing sensor technology and motion technology come down in price so that we can actually incorporate them into robots that you and I can get our hands on. Now you might think some of the robots we've covered today are silly or superfluous, but I'm here to tell you these are laying the foundation for robotics in the future. The accessories, the, the sensors, the actuators are all coming down in price, so we're finally getting to access something that used to be bleeding edge research and development just a couple of years ago. This is how the future happens. I'm really excited, and who knows, maybe at CE 2016, I'll finally get that robo butler I've been waiting for. But I've got a question for all of you guys. If you could design a robot of your very own, what would it do? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then check out these other amazing tech and science videos right over here.